Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I wanted to look at this Versa lock, um, this versatile lock barrel. Uh, for a while now, actually, it's a three star British standard uh, lock, and uh, well, kind of nice box and everything's made in the UK, I believe. But what's really cool about it, um, and not all Versa are like this, but this one is this model, is look, so you've got the um, external side there and the internal side, uh, usually. Uh, you've got the anti-snap protection on the uh, external side and sometimes but not always uh, high security pins in there so you see oh you see even at the external side you've got the anti-snap and you've got the anti-drill here um, no anti-snap towards the uh, middle of the lock so if you snap this off you snap um, you know a loss of the lock away but you don't keep any pins in here for security so it's an odd feature but anyway there you go and it's a dual finish, which means it's got brass and the satin uh, chrome finish, I think. And uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's not bad, but look, 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 look. This actually comes with its own grub screws. This, if you buy one um, and you snap it in two, I think they're about 40 something pounds each, but for 20, you know, if you snap it in two, you've got uh, two nice locks, which you can repin. Uh, with security pins and challenge pins and all sorts and you don't have to do too much to gut it you don't have to get the circlips off the back or anything like that it's just really um, a cool lock and there's, there's a few locks out there that do do this um, but this is is one of them it's kind of cool isn't it having these uh, all tapped and with grub screwed so it makes it a lot easier gut that's for sure right let me go find my vice we'll uh, put this in there and we'll have a pick and see well what it's like and then I guess we'll have to do a a pretty easy and very fast gut. So we're in the vise, and I didn't show you the key before, here it is. Mm, a very average bitting, it's got some lows, then high, then some some more lows and a high at the end, so it's it's okay, it's okay bitting. Works nicely in the uh, lock, don't need that anymore. And I'm gonna go old school with a, um, a piece and gem and a tension tool, which is, I think it's made by Mad Bob, I've always liked that tension tool, it's really awesome. A bit of tension on. Uh, go in with my pick at an angle, quite a tight little keyway, pin six, going five, four, going through. Oh, that was crunchy on pin two there, back to six, a lot sort of snappier there. Uh, oh, into a false set, that was on pin four. Do you hear, it, it, it's very crunchy in here, uh, pin one, can't really describe it, it's not sort of not nice. Um, oh, I'd hit a pin and it just hit into a, uh, gone, gone into a, a, a false set. Um, that's still pin six clicking away. Let's keep going through. Anything, anything? Pin two seems set, even though I don't think I picked it. Okay, wiggle my pick through, go to the back again. It feels like it's picked, but must be something that isn't just 100% set yet. Uh, come on, who are you? Something sort of, it feels like it's caught up on something. So let me just um, wiggle, ah, wiggle under, I was gonna say wiggle under each pin, but we just wiggled under a pin. Okay, that's weird. Um, it's, it's, it's not very smooth. It feels gritty. I'd normally associate that with um, shallow, very shallow spools or serrated pins, um, but it could be something else going on there. I think we just have to take a look at it. Anyway, we're, we're fully open, but it's very strange. It's not a a pleasant lock to pick. Is that the, a good way to describe it? I don't know. It, I mean, it's not particularly hard, but it hung up at the end, and I I really want to know why. Okay, let's see. Is it this one? Let's have a go. No, it's actually the smaller one. Isn't it cool to have these gross, this already sort of tapped for us? Gonna make this so, so much quicker to, to gut. And just tip those pins out. Pins and springs, lovely. Keep going through. Since this isn't very exciting, I might actually uh, fast forward this bit, if, if I remember. 
If it doesn't fast forward, I didn't remember. Oh, okay, a spool. I, I did feel a spool in there, so... A spool... Okay, so this was far more interesting than I thought it was going to be. You can see I've separated out chamber six and put in the space seven here. But you can see in all of these positions, um, you've got anti-drill bars in the lock, but no steel anti-drill pins. These are all brass standard key pins here, as you can see, so nothing too exciting there. But you've got some, um, so there was some cancer rotation uh, halfway through the picking, and that was caused by this, very nice spool. It's actually a very thin spool. Look at that. Very nice indeed. Love it. Really nice actually. Uh, and the grittiness that I found could partially come from this. What you see, it's a lot more shallow. The spooling in here. It's, it's not quite serrated pins. A double spool, but the pin itself, um, the it's it's a lot fatter. Can you see how much thinner this is? So you get much more counter rotation off this pin here than you do off this. This just feels sort of gritty. It sort of feels a bit like um, a rough serrated pin. So that's part of the thing. Then you've got some surprising amount of standard pins in here, which is a bit frustrating. Um, it's, it would be nice to see something other than a standard pin, but you know, there you go. Nothing much to say about that. Mildly beveled, I suppose, um, is the best way to describe it. So again, beveling can make it feel a little bit gritty, but it's this pin. Um, here you go, so that's a standard, but this pin is the interesting one. You don't see this very often, I've seen this in a Titan lock before, um, but not many others. It's a pin in pin, look at that, isn't that cool? Like I said, you just don't see these very often in um, in commercial locks, um, and I only know a handful of them which do, uh, but there you go, look. Isn't that cool? Pin in pin. And that definitely is why it, uh, that last pin six needed to be set a, f a f number of times because you might set the um, outer pin, then the inner pin, then the inner pin again. Um, so yeah, very, very cool indeed. I did not expect that one bit actually. So yeah, ultra cool. Um, I did not know that the Versa had a pin in pin pin. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly uh, enjoyed giving us a pick and an explore. It did surprise me, that's for sure. And um, not bad luck, actually, in terms of the pins you get and the fact that it's uh, uh, already been tapped and, and, and got grub screws in it. Yeah, very, very cool. Anyway, hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you have a comment about this lock, um, at any comments at all, please leave them. I read them all. I reply to as many as I can. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel and like content like this, then please do consider subscribing. It really helps me out. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.